in this lesson we will create data visualizations and the first visualization we are going to create is about the journalist killings across the world and for that we have used the database from kaggle.com i hope in the previous exercise you had been successful in loading your data into Elasticsearch. If you are facing any issues with that, you can go ahead and use the code sample provided in the course. Once your data set is loaded into Elasticsearch, you should see an index created called Mortality and it will have around 1700 documents in it. Let's take a look at this index and the data in it. Click on mortality. In this data, you can see we have a date column, which is in a month, day, and year format. You also have a name of the journalist, gender, the country where this journalist was killed, the organization he belongs to, nationality, and some other uh, information about that journalist and his organization. Okay. Using this data set, we are going to answer our first question, which is we want to know which country had the maximum number of journalist killings around the world in last five years. And we want to plot that into Kibana. Okay. And for this purpose, we will create an histogram chart. So let's start Kibana. Okay. On Kibana, click on uh, settings. Right. And here you need to specify the name of your uh, index in our case it is mortality and the next field is time field okay and this date in our case so it has already picked it up and let's click on create now kibana has loaded the data information from elasticsearch into its own memory and here you can see all the fields it has identified from the index okay once you have this it means your data is ready let's go to discover and select mortality so on this page you can see that kibana has loaded the data and it has also plotted it on a time series but as of now it doesn't tell us which country has the maximum number of killings it is just showing all the killings happened in that particular year so let's create our own visualization okay so click on visualize and the first item is to create a new visualization and here we are going to use vertical bar charts okay and uh, we want from a new search and the index will be mortality all right so as of now it is plotting all the data okay so let's create the chart so first item is y-axis which is this axis and here we want to show the count so this one is okay on the x-axis we first need to create an uh, aggregation okay so click on x-axis and take a date histogram and the field will be date and the interval we want is yearly okay so let's plot this first okay let's see what happens so here you can see we got similar screen as we had seen on the discover page okay so it is plotting all the killings happened in that particular year okay now let's split this information according to the country where it happened okay and we can do that by adding a sub bucket and here we want to add split bars now sub aggregation will be based on terms and the term we are using is country killed okay country killed okay and we want top five countries and we want everything to be ordered by the count okay now let's run this there you go as you can see we got the information about each of the country for each of the year when that happened okay and you can see the most killings happened in syria if you hover over it you can see 37 killings happened in last five years in syria 
and here also in the legend you can see Sirius at the top next is the Somalia and uh, there you can see how many killings happened like 14 and it has reduced over the years which is good okay also we need to make sure when we are plotting the information then we specify the date range properly okay the way it works in Kibana is so over right hand side of the Kibana screen you will see the date range okay click here so here it shows how much should be the date range it should consider while plotting the charts in your data set okay so here we have selected last five years okay if you change this uh, then the chart will also change accordingly okay so now you can see it's on the vote 2016 all right so this uh, shows you how to create your own visualizations and as you have seen it is very simple to do you can also save your visualizations I click over here and then give it a name so let's uh, name it as mortality in last five years okay and save or let's say mortality count worldwide in last five years okay and save this so now your visualization is saved and you can use it later and I will show you how to make use of it okay all right try it out on your end and we will create one more chart before we can create the dashboards I'll see you in the next class